Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to show you probably one of the best uh, charting packages that I've seen for Python. Um, I knew about this quite a while ago uh, from Gigi, uh, the Python extraordinaire for trading. Um, to one of our meetups a long time ago, he talked about this uh, R package called PyQT Graph. Basically what it does, it works off of PyQT4, NumPy, which are some of the um, dependencies that it needs, as well as it needs uh, open, Python OpenGL as well uh, for the 3D stuff. And this is all open source. It's, it's, this is really impressive. And uh, it's, when I say open source, it's free. For uh, Mac users, which I am, download this uh, file right here, the very first one. Um, the instructions are down here, which is OS 10. Uh, all you gotta do is just do this. Pi, oh, I'm sorry, pip install pi qt graph, okay? So when you run it, you're off to the races and it was very easy to install. Okay, so if you come under the file uh, here at the top, this very first one that I listed, uh, that will include um, lots of examples, some severe amount of examples. And this worked no problem right out of the gate. Um, so you got lots of examples here. I've got some uh, examples here that are pretty cool. I just want to run. If you want to get this uh, set of instructions, come to my um, uh, my posting here. Uh, this is where the video will link you to uh, on my blog. So with all of that cool stuff, let me show you some cool examples. So the first example will run uh, is, uh, let's say this one right here, plotting. Um, this is just a 2D. So what you do is go Python plotting. Uh, let's see. Okay. Python plotting py. So off she goes. So you can see here, um, we've got all the different elements of our charts. The animation is quite good. Um, it's pretty fast. So let me show you some other stuff. All right, so let me show you uh, the OpenGL. Now this is for 3D. Uh, so if you were to um, run this, you need this uh, package open Python OpenGL. So you can just run with the usual pip install py OpenGL, py OpenGL, and accelerate. Okay, um, so some of those examples are pretty simple. So if you go Python uh, GL mesh is this one. So you can see you can rotate it, no problem. It's very fast at um, rendering and refreshing and being live. So I'll run this graphics layout here. Uh, okay, there's this. So you could set up a layout because you're using PyQT, which is kind of like a template for building out widgets uh, on an interface. So you can do it through this. It's just an example. Our ne next example we're going to run is this GL surface plot. This is pretty cool. You know, again, when you have this GL stuff, uh, this is OpenGL running. So the animation is just pretty good. You know what I mean? Uh, it's as good as anything else I've seen. Actually, probably better. Um, I don't know if you can uh, zoom in. I'm sure you could, but uh, call it, I'm still learning. Okay, pretty cool. One more example I'll just show you is the uh, scatter plot. 
speed test. Speed test. Python. Pretty impressive. I didn't think Python had it in it. This kind of performance. This is it on a Mac? Uh, I5. Can increase this, let's say, to 30. Uh, randomize. Pixel mode. It's pretty impressive, uh, even for Python as well. Let's see if I can do uh, 300. Uh, 99. I don't know what the, the maximum is. But, anyways, you get the idea. So there you go, that's some pretty cool stuff. Now the hard part is looking for some chart, uh, trading charts, stock charts uh, specific for uh, the uh, using Pi QT, QT uh, graph, which is pretty cool in Python. Okay, uh, over and out.